Audio diary entry, take one. My name is Helen Otis, or people know me as the Bloody Painter. In my spare time, I like to paint pictures, but not just of, you know, people or flowers or sky like that, not like Vincent Van Gogh. Although, I think I'm pretty similar to Van Gogh. In a few ways. Painting's just always been a passion of mine. At least, it was when I got in the mental hospital. It all started when I was just a kid. My parents wanted a daughter and not a son. So they named me Helen and they started dressing me in like a girl. It was a little embarrassing, but... Uh, until I was six, they uh, got me into school and they got me dressing like a boy for now. Uh, I still got T's for my name, but who gives a damn? A name's a name. I had a friend, a really good friend, that uh, around that time. Unfortunately, he had a little accident. We were playing around in one of the classrooms, but uh, he started making a joke by acting like he was going to fall out the window. It, it was kind of funny, but he he lost his balance, and he, he fell and died. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's... It's just an emotional story. Because he was my only friend, and I was with him at the time, I got blamed for it. And, you know, there was not really any witnesses but me, but they wouldn't believe me. But because there were no witnesses, I got put in a mental institution for a very long time. They thought it was insane. So, you know, when I was in there, I learned how to paint, and I just felt good painting. I really wanted to make it a passion. But whenever I was painting some pictures, they weren't exactly the colors I was hoping for, so I had to improvise. When the doctors were looking, grabbed a little safety pin, tried to find the sharpest edge, break my finger. So after I pricked my finger, I decided to add my blood into the red. Not a lot of people know this. But if you leave blood out for a while, I mean, at least, you know, a whole day, it turns into this weird brown-looking color. And I decided to do that for my popsicle house. Make it look like a nice little brick house. And a lot of people thought it was, you know, pretty good and realistic. They tried to give me more paint. But I still decided to use my blood for some, you know, color. I just always just... I, I guess painting just gives me happiness and passion. Although I was angry at everybody for accusing me of killing my friend. I understand. Yet... I had a hatred. Hatred for all those bastards that locked me in here. I was eventually released on March 10th in 2001. But two years later, I decided to, uh, you know, go for one little killing spree to take revenge. I killed the teacher that accused me of killing my only friend. I killed one police officer that arrested me. I thought I wanted to kill the nurse that, you know, helped me throughout this whole psychological experience. But, I decided to leave her alone. She was good to me. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have this interest in painting. Yeah. All these colors are looking really nice. Darn. Looks like I'm out of red. Looks like I have to get more. Let's see... Hmm... Hmm... 
Hmm. Let's see. Jeffrey Woods. That name sounds oddly familiar. Oh, yeah. I remember him now. I went to school with him. He had a weird looking face, but I can feel his blood. I was always able to feel his blood. It would have been nice for a nice little house. I guess I'm gonna go look up Jeff and see if I can find him. Well, I guess this is the end of Diary Take One. See what tomorrow brings.